G'day guys, this is Jordan. Welcome back to XCOM. Hopefully this is working. I actually recorded an episode yesterday uh, which went disastrously. I uh, should probably explain, we've jumped ahead a little bit, unfortunately. Um, so I spent the first day trying to get all my recording set up and running and working with OBS and eventually I got everything running right. I, I recorded a couple of videos. I haven't actually edited or uploaded the second one yet. Um, I've just been kind of recording and recording, just seeing how everything's fitting together. And yesterday, um, I thought, you know, I, I came in, switched everything on, set it all up, started recording in the exact same setup that I had the day before that was working. Had a great episode of XCOM, a lot of action, uh, a lot of advancements, a lot of interesting things happening. Great episode. Went into OBS to have a look back and it was perfect audio for the game, perfect audio for my voice and just a black screen. So I spent a lot of yesterday afternoon trying to sort that out and I, I think we've gotten there. I really do apologize for the fact there's going to be a huge jump in progress between this episode and last episode. Unfortunately, there's not much I can do about that. It's, it's a combination of two things, the OBS failure, which wasn't my fault. I had everything set up right. I, I still don't know why it wasn't working. The second thing was my fault. I overwrote my save file without thinking about it, which is not going to happen from now on. I'll always separate my save files just in case. For instance, today, if I'm if I'm recording this and speaking this for absolutely no reason because it's broken again, I'll revert back so that you guys don't miss anything. So I do apologize. I do apologize. It was a really good episode. I'm still really annoyed by it. Uh, I spent most of yesterday afternoon pretty bloody furious about it. Uh, but I think... I think we're okay. I hope we're okay. So let me try and catch you up. So, we have, what have we done together? Now I've got to try and remember. So we did the initial mission where we learned about MELD and then we started the research project of MELD recombination. So that completed. And so basically what happens after that is you get two branches with the MELD that you can go down. And you don't have to choose, you can do both. One of them is through the research wing, which unlocks genetic manipulation using MELD. So basically what happens is as you autopsy aliens, you can learn special abilities that you can apply to your soldiers by genetically manipulating them. Uh, things like giving them a secondary heart. So if they're knocked down in battle, they're not killed, they're wounded. Uh, things like, uh, I think it's called adaptive bone marrow, is that the one for jumping? I'm not sure. Anyway, there's one that can make them jump to uh, higher areas in the level and stuff like that. There's ones with uh, reactive pupils, so if they miss a shot, the, the next shot that they take has plus 10 aim and things like that. So that's stuff that I haven't gotten into at all. I haven't built the, the gene lab. So you haven't missed that. So that we can discover together. Now the other, the issue is in the engineering side of things, you can augment your soldiers to become, well, cyborgs basically. They, they have all their limbs amputated so that they can interface with a, a mech suit. And it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a giant, it's a mech unit that you can deploy. So we have, done that unfortunately you missed it really pissed off about that because it was a really good episode so we have uh, i'll just show you so in engineering our cyber suits have faced the trials of battle and were proven effective you have as we continue to deploy our mech build. troopers they and will grow more accustomed to the series carlos and if fortune is with us and he is our mech trooper so far. Conflict. and he has the standard uh chain gun and on his left arm he has the flamethrower which is going to close quarters area of effect attack so that is how far we got in the last episode really 
once again do apologize for the fact that you missed it. It was a really good episode and I'm truly pissed off about that and I wish I could go back and just, I would record it all over again but unfortunately that's not the case, we can't do that. So we're going to continue onwards and upwards. That's all the explaining out of the way but yeah a lot of issues yesterday, I thought things were running perfectly, turns out that wasn't the case. Anyway, onwards and upwards. Let us, oh god I got so mad yesterday I can't even remember what we were doing. So I I also, I've been moving my, uh, thank you, I've been moving my interceptors around uh, so that we've got interceptors on all continents now. We've got two interceptors on every continent. For now, that should do. We will increase that as we go. Okay, let us, there's not, I don't think there's anything we can do for the moment. Do we have any medals? Oh, another thing we unlocked, by the way, which I, now I have to explain as well. We unlocked the capacity to give medals to soldiers. So as we play through the game, occasionally we'll pick up uh, the, the ability to award medals for to our soldiers, and they each have unique powers. So this one, the International Service Cross, gives plus two aim per continent bonus XCOM has earned to your soldiers. So we only have one continent bonus at the moment, which is uh, the, I think it's the aircraft. Um, yes, it is. So that gives the soldier who has it plus two, I can't remember who it is, but they've got plus two aim, so that's great for them. Officer training school, anything we can do here. No. So yeah, we increased our squad size to five soldiers and our soldiers now receive a bonus 25% experience from kills. So basically I have purchased that because if we bring a rookie into a mission, it kind of guarantees that they'll get a promotion at the end of that mission. And then we can assign them to a certain class. So anyway, that's all the explaining out of the way. Let's, let's get going. So we've got ship transfers and access lift, which is great because I'm, I'm looking to build on the, the second level and we're leading up to where we've almost got lasers. We've got that research project on the way. So let's scan. Commander, we're receiving a transmission from the council. Coming on screen. Council mission. Portent. The Council has been monitoring unusual reports about a hijack attempt on an unauthorized French military convoy. Although the alleged perpetrators were human, our intel indicates that aliens may also have been in the area. If true, this raises a number of questions about the cargo being moved. We'll need a squad to investigate. Central should have our complete report momentarily, so we'll get a scientist, an engineer, and 150 Somalians. Beautiful. Uh, this introduces another thing that's from the DLC, which is uh, Exalt, who is a rival faction that kind of works against your efforts to repel the aliens. Really good addition to we the game. We are confident that you will handle this matter with discretion. Thank you. So we have two rookies. Petrova we've had on one mission that you wouldn't have been with me for. She still hasn't ranked up. Uh, Choi don't know if you guys have seen him. He has ranked up into a heavy. Rodriguez is our mech. I've got to change his nickname for some reason. They gave him Marvin. That's not going to do. We're going to give him the nickname. Uh, he was the. He's the last survivor of Delta Squad. Who first encountered the aliens in the very first mission of the game. So he's going to be Delta. Better than Marvel. Okay, so we've got Wozniak. Sure. Wozniak, let's have a look at you. Your aim is eh, your build is pretty terrible. Can we do anything to help you out? Give her a scope. Thank you. Um let's give her a scope. This mission's not terribly difficult. It's just thin men. I believe. I don't want to go back to briefly. 
Yeah, I know. I'm launching it. I, I pressed Excellent. the wrong button. I'm launching it. We look forward to seeing your progress. Thanks. I'm trying to launch it. Bugger off. Bugger off. Alrighty, let's go. Dropship has arrived. France is sending an urgent mission request. French military convoy was caught in an ambush. The convoy's current status is unknown. Be prepared for anything. Okay, that's specific. Uh, obje objectives are investigate the area of operations, locate and secure any survivors as well as the convoy's cargo, and eliminate any remaining opposition. Can do, mate. Can do. This is a pretty straightforward mission. There's been widespread speculation about this ambush on a French military convoy, but we don't have much to go on. Our primary concern is the Council Intel report indicating alien activity in the area. We need to secure the site and look for some clue as to what happened here. New objective received. about this mission is we're going to engage some location yes. confirmed so basically we retrieve a package and we have to move that package back to the extraction point and the the aliens send in reinforcements so that's why we are uh, up on that roof uh, just to help cover things oh excellent incoming over here attack that Headed there now. But we can use his to take out this guy's cover and damage him. Firing on target position. No rounds. Now he has no cover, which opens him up for the time. Headed there now. She should have a shot on this guy. Okay, here they come. There we go, right there. So I didn't want to expose her to a shot. Okay, you. What? She's only got a shot on him. What? The other bloke is right there. Um. That guy's Enemies in sight. Oh. Yeah. They're moving around the side. Yeah. It's going on. Um. Let the other guy go. He's on my way. Oh, great one. Um, take the shot. Go start thing. Now they go. Great. Good shot. Well done. Well, that's bad. Yeah, he's going to. Oh. They're repositioning on us. And we've got another guy who's in a bad position. No major damage oh. detected. bodies don't look like they've been hit by alien weapons fire. These men were killed by conventional bullets. Oh, 
Great. Here's something that I hate. Reload complete. Reloading ends your turn. Why? He had two moves available. He used one move to reload. And That's yet affirmative. That completely took up his turn. Oh shit. I don't know. Sorry guys, it just woke up. So. Oh fuck. Negative damage. This is so simple. Such basic enemies. And at the first engagement of the game, we're just spinning our wheels and we're stuck. She needs to get the hell out of there because she is going to die. And I do not want to lose another assault class trooper. Can you get back upstairs? Yes, you can. Aye, aye, Commander. Upstairs. Oh, wait, she's not going upstairs. Oops. 35, still 35%. Uh, I'm not. Should I put her into Overwatch? Uh, let's just try the gods. Yep. Well done. Adjusting sights. Mm -hmm. That will help. Got it. Please tell me we've got 55. Now that's better than even. We got screwed on a better than even chance from this guy. This will not hit, but we live in hope. Finally! One enemy down. Three bloody turns we've been engaging these basic bloody enemies. He's going to get better. Great. No! Incoming oh, fire! Oh, he's going to shoot at the soldier. Oh. This is not fun. Moving to position. Please tell me you have a shot on someone. Dude, that's not good. There's no way you can hit him with the flamethrower from there. Now. We could try and do collateral damage again to shoot through the cover. Which we may have to do. Firing on hostile position. Heading to that location. You up. Vega, oh, she can't get upstairs because she'll run through the poison cloud and run through the kill. Oh, my frontline troop is just completely out of the fight. Heading there now. Actually, I don't want to anywhere near these guys because if that guy spits venom, she is dead. Let's go here, wait for that cloud to dissipate. And just go into the watch. This is terrible. This is not fun. I think it poisoned me. Oh, come on. Are you fucking serious? Um, 
has not moved her yet. Who has the med kit? Not you. That's good. That's great. I swear to God, this game. Got it. Yesterday I had one of those really good XCOM days where everything was great. Today is one of those XCOM days where they just they just want you to die. That's all they want. I've got to start just moving the camera. Heading there now. Wazdy. How do you say that, by the way? Wazd, wazd, wazdy. How do you play? How do you meant to say that? Don't move. You'll be fine. Okay, that's good. So let's. We can get her back. Going in for the kill. Headed there now. If she takes one hit, she's done. And I also can't get this guy involved in anything until he reloads. That's affirmative. I might as well move him first and then reload because he's going to kill his turn. Locked and loaded. I hate the way they do that. In XCOM 2, they change the reloading doesn't. Sensors still indicate life signs in the area, Commander. Stupid. We have a new objective. See, there's that thing where if you leave your cursor off screen, the game just says, oh, that's where you want the camera. Uh, um, go upstairs because... Location we'll confirmed. Up soon, we're going to start sending in aliens to take us out as we withdraw. Still, time. someone alive over there. there. So we can bring them in for questioning. Spot, right? Maybe we can figure out here. what happened here. But the thin men, when you kill them, release a cloud of that poison gas. So having your soldiers close to them when they die. Okay. So they get the time. So basically, we're exactly back where we are. That's what we're now thinking about the retreat. I'm on the move. Is that full cover? Yes, it is. Beautiful. Now, is that a good spot? I'm on it, Commander. 
Overwatch. Keep you there. Overwatch. Is that the turn? Great. That's good. Hello. Moving. Might as well leave me here. <clears throat> I have nothing to say to you people. It looks like he's the only witness to survive this fight. And for all we know, he was one of the aggressors. We need to bring him in, whether he likes it or not. Objectives updated. Moving into the AO. Tell me you've got a shot. Oh, go, go get his plug some glasses. Adjusting some rounds. She didn't have an overwatch on that bloke who jumped up onto the roof. He just vanished. going to miss because she has the lightning reflex. Got a lot of heat on me. The first overwatch shot against her would miss incredibly useful ability. And exactly why I used her to move first. She's not going to get caught up in that cloud. Um you guys stay where you are. You are going to, even though they've been out of the action. The this is only fight. the beginning. It's only a matter of. <coughs> That's great, buddy. That's great. It's not like we're in the middle of something. Right? His gun's empty. Should look at this bloke with a grenade. Yes, we can. Grenade out! Yeah, I have to be careful not to put anybody close to that car. Hostiles on the move. This is why I left these guys on this roof. Oh, she's too close. That is not good. Is that seriously too hit him. Two misses. He's sitting right in front of me. Glad I left the sharp shoes. I can't move anybody until these guys are gone. They're on Overwatch, so if anybody moves, they're going to shoot. You're telling me you don't? Please kill him. Two. Need a resupply. Two was the damage she did. I don't care about this. No. Things should be okay. Oh, that's excellent. He actually moved across this guy yeah, now. Nothing but <coughs> yep. a bunch of puppets. That's brilliant, mate. How about you just shut up? Position confirmed. This is not going well. This is one of the easiest missions in the game. I'm worried about moving anybody. Because it's black. Location confirmed. You don't run through the poison. 
Okay. Don't run through. What did I just say? Don't run through the poison. I'm on the move. So now I have to go along. Cut him down. But she thinks just running through the poison is the best way to get somewhere. I can't see him. I'm going to. Should I leave him there? That's probably a bad idea. We're moving him. It's also Let's get him inside. Please don't shoot him. Thank you. Strike one. We've got hostile contacts moving on your position. Oh, come on. Thank God. <laughs> I've never been so happy Go about when my troops got shot. And the other shield is through a cloud of poison. Nice. That'll teach him. Oh. You're gonna have aye, to aye, Commander. Oh, I'm gonna be sick. Yeah. So am I. Oh, this is not going well. You missed! Out of ammo here. Damn it's it. a waste of time. You missed. 87% a flanking shot and you missed him. You just run to the bloody ship. See you later. <coughs> You're still not getting anything from me. I just run out of these. VIP is safe and on board. Oh, he's not? He's here. Well done. He's there. Now you just need to eliminate any remaining hostiles. <laughs> yeah. Objective update. That's what this team's good at. Oh. Yeah, here's the thing with leaving. Oh, I hate that so much. Um, he's got no ammo. Sheila up on the roof. Gonna to have to shoot him with a pistol again if I set her. Come on, really? Back online. Okay. Oh, yep. She bloody killed herself when she missed him. Oh god, that was atrocious. How did I lose a soldier on this mission? I affirmative. No, I didn't. Oh, that was a misclick. That was a misclick. And she's not going to have a shot. And the only person who has a shot is the shield that has no, no, no rifle. Headed there now. 
Um, sorry to say, love. It's up to you. Yep, come through in the clutch. This, this, man, I can't wait for this mission to end. This mission has been a joke. Please kill him. Oh, God, I'm gonna lose another Missed. soldier. I'm gonna lose another one. Those two had one job. I left them up there the whole bloody mission with the express purpose of just killing the people that come up onto the roof. <sighs> this has not been a good Heading up. day for XCOM. <laughs> and he has no shot. Bok choy, mate. Headed there now. You up there. You're going to miss because you you need new glasses, but please tell me. Sure, why not? Oh, this is good. Thank you. Excellent work, Commander. <laughs> Our friend here might be uncooperative at the moment. Excellent work. But I have a feeling yeah, a talk was... with Dr. Valen will change his tune. That went like clockwork. That was perfect. <laughs> oh, God, that was terrible. Nine aliens. We lost a soldier on that mission. I can't believe we lost a soldier on that mission. Oh, that was atrocious. I can't believe I left them up there with the whole purpose of picking off the guys that dropped in to that rooftop and they did everything possible. Everything possible to just miss. Oh my god, look at this. 21 days 21 days she's out of action she's been with us for two missions she hasn't killed anybody even our assault trooper she's been with us for two missions she's only gotten one kill what is going on with this mob <gasps> jet boots really useful um, becomes a high card, don't care about that. Jet boots, jet boots, mate. That way he can jump up through the levels, makes him a lot more mobile. Really good ability. Uh, please. Uh, bullet swarm, yes. Oh, I feel so tired after, I just woke up and I feel like I just want to go back to bed after that mission. That was bloody awful. Uh, Take two shots, yes, yes, yes. It has a minus 15 penalty, but if you get out on somebody's flank, uh, that is an amazing ability. Uh, and you're an assault trooper. Uh, okay. Right. I'm more concerned. Was she the one carrying my med kit? Because if I lost that med kit, I'm going to be pissed off. Here we go, so we received an award that we can dole out, the Urban Combat Badge. So let's check that out now, because I went through all of that in the last episode, the Lost episode. Um, so we got one scientist, one engineer, 150 bucks. Your squad's arrival was perfectly timed. The survivors should be able to aid us in identifying the missing truck and help us locate it for a follow-up operation. Good, good. So I'm eager for some more action after that. Remember, Abortion. we will be watching. <sighs> okay, so Commander, yeah, we got him. we've suffered a number of casualties mm -hmm. and haven't found suitable replacements yet. We need to start hiring additional soldiers through the barracks. Now we just need good soldiers. So we got the urban combat badge. Uh, that gives plus five defense when in cover. So that's that's actually really good. Uh, we can. There's no point giving it to. Delta, because he's a mech trooper, he can't go into cover. So we want someone. Oh, Ping's wounded. Oh my god, Nasreem and Ping are both wounded for 14 days. Oh, she has two medals. Why did I give her two medals? Nah, bugger that. Uh, plus two. Let's give that to Nasreem. Oh, I miss you, Nasreem. 
Nazreem and Ping are two absolute killers. They never miss. Okay, beautiful. Alright. Now let's hire some more cannon fodder. Three days. Are they walking here? Is that why there was the boots clomping? They're actually walking here? Bloody hell. Three days. Alright, let's just... I can't believe how many soldiers are there. Transfer complete. Operational. So, the new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. Yep. We're always glad to have oh, more help down me here. Me too, mate. I don't want to put a power facility here, but I can't get to that. Well, I don't. I don't think I can make that generator. So let's just do it. We have to build a power facility, it's the only thing. We have no power for anything else. That's why you want to stack your generators in a line. You get plus two bonus power. If they're connected to another power generator. That's why I'm... Uh, let's just start this. These guys are out of action anyway. I don't want to lose an assault trooper. I, I can't lose Nazreen. She's my only decent medic. Uh, So because she, so based on the class that they are before they're augmented to become mech soldiers, they get a bonus ability because she's a sniper. Her ability is platform stability, which any shots taken without moving have plus 10 aim and plus 10% critical chance. So yeah, that's huge because she has such a high aim anyway. That's excellent. Once the required amputations have been completed, the engineering team will begin grafting the cybersuit interfaces onto the volunteers' remaining bone structure. So let's build a new mech suit. She will need one. And we definitely want the flames ready. Excellent. So now, once she's ready... Um, I don't know if that will over override the fact that she's wounded. I doubt it will. I think she'll still be wounded when she comes out of augmentation anyway. So, doesn't matter. We've got our mech trooper out on the field. Um, let's go to mission control. I really want to try to get to beam weapons. Because doing two damage with the assault rifles is not good. Beautiful. Laser pistol available for manufacture. Laser rifle available for manufacture. Fantastic. By studying the methods used by the aliens to manage energy consumption and heat dissipation in their weapons, we've advanced our existing laser-based weaponry designs well beyond what we had previously envisioned. Remarkably, we now have a working prototype that is both capable and portable, a development that at one time been considered impossible. Although we've had to reduce the size of the focusing lenses in the process, we found very little decrease in the overall output or accuracy of the weapon during initial testing. Fantastic. The laser pistol relies on our latest advancements to provide a more powerful sidearm that does not require reloading in the field. Excellent. The laser assault rifle relies on our latest in optics technology to offer a substantial increase in output over the conventional X9 rifle. 
Excellent. Uh, we should work on the arc thrower soon. Laser sniper rifles. We just augmented our sniper, so that's not hugely important. Heavy lasers, ship based cannons, and heavy propulsion weapons for our mechs. That's really good. So, we can adapt to increase the range of power from laser weapons. Um, how long are these taking? Five days, five days, five days. Uh, let's go. No, no. Was it heavy lasers? Yeah. Let's, let's, let's... Start. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. It's going to take forever. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. Having our mechs with, an, uh, with a more powerful weapon than I have now will just make them completely deadly. Uh, engineering. I need you to make me some stuff, mate. Oh, what? Why? Twelve engineers. See, this is why engineers are so important. Who's, who's ready for action? Ping still. Wow, so it's all rookies. Shit. All my good soldiers are out of bloody action. Ping. Oh, she's active now. Oh, beautiful. So she's not wounded anymore. That's excellent. Lateral damage. Automated threat assessment. 15 defense when in Overwatch. Uh, that could be useful because they do take a lot of hits. Shots from Overwatch and all this. No, that for her is very important. Because she's got a really good natural aim. Plus this. Plus no aim penalty to Overwatch. Excellent. Oh, wait, I forgot the whole reason why I went into that menu. There you go. Uh, let's give you a nice. Uh, let's go with that one. Beautiful, we have two mech troopers. That's fantastic. Um, I think we're going to leave this one here, guys. Um, it was a combination of that mission draining me so badly. Um, plus, I don't want to do a big, massively long episode anyway. Uh, I'd rather keep it a little bit short. We've got nothing much on the horizon, so I think we'd better just cut here, and then at the start of the next video, we can keep scanning until we get something to do. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to leave this one here, guys. Um, Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, please leave a like. Uh, if you'd like to help support the channel even more, you could consider subscribing. Uh, any comments that you may have uh, regarding this playthrough, <coughs> excuse me, uh, tips, uh, games that you may like to see featured on the channel, uh, don't hesitate to let me know. I do read every comment and I'll reply to probably all of them. See how we go. Uh, but anyway, just thanks for watching as well. Just watching really helps. So thank you very much, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.